Skeets had taken the little green man and Zoom Zoom to look around Blackbridge Castle, but to their dismay, the notice said there would be no guided tours today. The man at the door said he was very sorry, but there was nothing he could do about it. Of course, you could always look around on your own, if you kept out of trouble, he said. Skeets thanked him very much, and watched by the beaming doorkeeper, he made off across the courtyard of the castle. Scampering after him came the little green man and Zoom Zoom though the doorkeeper could only see Skeets as the little green man and Zoom Zoom are quite invisible to everyone except Skeets. And you and me, of course. Entering the castle, Skeets and his friends climbed the main staircase to be confronted by a row of suits of armour. <laughs> said the little green man, which meant, these are very strange space suits. Uh, space suits, laughed Skeets. They're not space suits. They were used hundreds of years ago as protection from lances, arrows and swords. <laughs> said the little green man, which meant, you seem to know a lot about this place. Have you been here before? Uh, many times, said Skeets. I could give you the guided tour myself. <laughs> Are there some parts of the castle you've never seen before? asked the little green man. It'd be fun to explore them now, and I can see the guided tour parts another time. Good idea, exclaimed Skeets. There are lots of places the guide doesn't let us see. Up the tower, for instance. Come on. They soon found themselves in a dark room high up in the tower, full of interesting old weapons, Guns, spears, swords, lances, and bows and arrows. At the other end of the room, a door stood ajar, and a curious noise could be heard from one of the rooms beyond it. Ah, well. <laughs> Did you hear that? asked Keats. And both the little green man and Zoom Zoom nodded. Somebody sounds very unhappy, said the little green man. They found the room the noise was coming from and pulled the door gently open so that they could see inside. But it made an incredibly loud creaking noise. When the friends looked at first, they saw no one but, as they stared, a trembling man popped up from behind the settee. Uh, uh, who are you? He asked, his voice quivering. Oh, just a visitor, replied Skeets. Who are you? Me? Oh, I'm the Duke. I, I own this place. I was frightened to death when I heard you. I thought you were someone coming to throw me out. The Duke produced his handkerchief. <laughs> oh, to think of this lovely old castle becoming a ruin. Oh, isn't it sad? But why are you being thrown out? asked Skeets. Have you done something wrong? The little green man looked from Skeets to the Duke to hear the answer. Uh, no, 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 nothing like that, said the Duke. I simply can't afford to keep the place going any longer. And they'll come and close everything down at any time, I'm sure. The Duke sighed, just giving time for Skeets to catch sight of the puzzled look on the face of the little green man. I've tried guided tours and that sort of thing, but the money people pay isn't enough, so the old place will just have to go, I suppose. Said the little green man to Skeets, 
though the Duke could not hear, of course. He'd gone over to the window and was looking across the courtyard, which gave Skeets time to finish his conversation with the little green man. When he'd finished, he ran across to the Duke and cried, Oh, don't give up, Duke. I can find lots of help for you. Next week is a holiday week. Why not have a week-long carnival with competitions and games and sideshows, eh? Let's have dungeon discos and, and someone can make tea and buns and jam and, and my Uncle Jim will organise a fishing competition in the moat. The Duke beamed. Uh, do you think it would work? he asked. Oh, I'm sure it would, cried Skeets, and he danced round and round with the delighted Duke. Skeets enlisted the help of two of his friends, and between them they found a great deal of help in the shape of mothers and fathers, aunts and uncles, and many, many friends. Notices went out everywhere, and soon everyone in the area was talking about the holiday week fair to be held at the castle. Skeets and the little green man and Zoom Zoom found lots of jobs to do, the most exciting of which was erecting the huge marquees. Soon, the great first day arrived and the people crowded into the castle and the castle grounds until the place was jam-packed. Zoom Zoom had a wonderful time pretending to be a ghost. He wriggled into a white sheet and flew around, much to the delight of the visitors. When they got too close, he ducked away, leaving the sheet for the mystified people to find and promptly found another one. Skeets' mum organised the happy baby contest with her friends, whilst his Uncle Jim enjoyed every minute running the angling contest. Skeets put on a special magic show, which astounded his audience, though he had lots of help from the little green man, of course. So you will not be surprised to hear that Skeets astounded himself with his magic now and then. Perhaps the dungeon disco was the greatest attraction of all. Needless to say, the little green man and Zoom Zoom found it a must to try out disco dancing. Friends and relatives brought along by Skeets and the girls were staffing sideshows of every description and the visitors had a wonderful time. And it went on for the whole week. Every day the people returned and brought more and more of their friends with them. By Saturday they were saying it had become better and better every day and that the Duke must have another carnival next holiday. The Duke was absolutely delighted. He opened up the old counting house, which had been closed for hundreds of years, to store away the money safely. I don't know how to thank you, he said. There's enough money here to last the whole year round, and the people seem to have enjoyed themselves immensely. Oh, we've all enjoyed helping to organise it too, said Skeets. I hope I've thanked every one of your relatives and friends for their help, said the Duke. But everywhere there seemed to be extraordinary things happening which no one seemed to do. It was almost as though we had an invisible little man using his magical powers to make sure we were successful. Uh, don't you think so, Skeets? Uh, didn't it seem to you like that? Oh, well, you might say that, said Skeets, quite flabbergasted. Well, thank you, little invisible man, if you are listening, said the Duke. The little green man and Zoom Zoom were certainly listening. Zoom Zoom looped around with pleasure, 
whilst the little green man rolled on his back, hooting with delight at this funny piece of guesswork. The little green man sat up. He said, Well, really. <laughs>